Yep, so hey everybody, how's it going? Today, we have to take a small class on atoms and radioactivity. So, let's begin. Okay, atoms. Everything on Earth, even Earth, is made of atoms. Let me tell you something. Um, they, the atoms are really sparsely what fixed, so if you bring all them close together, you can put up all the atoms inside a baseball, but you can never lift them because it will be as heavy as the earth. Okay, so atoms are too small to be seen with an ordinary microscope. Um, the central nucleus is made up of protons and neutrons, and the electrons orbit around the nucleus at really high speeds. And the light charges repel and unlike charges at attract, as you know in the magnets. Okay, so there are the same number of protons and electrons in an atom, so the charge produced is zero because when you add 10 plus minus 10, you get zero. And the protons and neutrons together are called the nucleons. All the atom's mass is in the nucleus. Electrons are held in orbit by the force of attraction between opposite charges. Let me show you in just a second. One second. Yeah. So. Okay. This is an atom. This is the nucleus, and you've got protons and nucleons, uh, neutrons, and the electrons orbit around the nucleus because it doesn't get thrown out or separated because they've got the force of attraction and the high speed, so it doesn't come closer or go farther. They just stay the same. And in an atom, they've got the same number of protons and electrons. Yeah, so they've got the same number of protons and electrons. And what else? Yeah, let's go to the next one. One second. Mm, yeah. All the atoms in the mass is the nucleus. So everything, the outside doesn't matter. Every the mass of the atom is inside the nucleus because there are the neutrons inside the nucleus. Then electrons are held in orbit by the force of the attraction between the opposite charges. There is a strong nuclear force between neutrons and protons, which is really strong. That's why they don't get separated as I told you before. Each element has a different number of protons in its atoms. It has a different atomic number, proton number, which is Proton number. You can also know the number of electrons with the atomic number because the number of protons is the same as the number of electrons. And yeah, the, these types, what the atoms of an element are not at all exactly alike. Some may have more neutrons than others. These different versions of elements are called the isotopes. They have diff identical chemical properties, although their atoms have different masses. Most elements are a mixture of two or more isotopes. Let me show you. Yeah, so this is a atom. This one is the electrons orbiting around, and this is the nucleus. It's uh, shown the protons and neutrons. Six protons and six neutrons. This is the electrons, protons, and neutrons. Yeah. So, yeah, this is an isotope. An isotope is uh, what when the atomic number which is this or the proton number remains the same and the mass number changes mass number is nothing but the number of nuclear ne neutrons in the atom so the protons and electrons have se are the same so their atomic number is three 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 yeah but the number of neutrons are different, so their mass varies, so the 6, 7, 8, yeah, that's it. Then, okay. The nuclear radiation. Some atoms contain with an unstable nuclei, and each time, unstable nucleus disintegrates 
or breakups. As it breaks, it shoots out a tiny particle and in some cases burst of wave energy as well. The particles and wave radiate from the nucleus and are called the nuclear radiation. Radioactive materials emit nucle nuclear radiation. Radioactive decay is a disintegration of the nucleus. Materials in the nuclear power station are highly radioactive. Charged atoms or a group of atoms are called ions. Atom num atoms become ions when they lose or gain electrons. Nuclear radiation can remove electrons from atoms in its path, so it has an ionizing effect. Ultraviolet and X-rays also have an ionizing radiation. There is always a small amount of radiation around us because of radioactive materials around us. So the small amount of radiation is background radiation by the soil, air, rocks, building materials, and even space out the background radiation. So, one second. Okay. These are the three types of radiations: alpha, beta, and gamma rays. So, radiation. This one is two made up of protons. So. A helium nucleus of two protons and two neutrons. So the mass is four because two neutrons and the charge is plus two because there are no electrons in it. Then beta, it's made up of electrons, high kinetic energy, electrons mass, one by one thousand eight hundred and fifty charges minus one. Gamma radiation. Very high frequency electromagnetic radiation. Mass is zero, charge is also zero. Here it shows the uh, well, atomic number and the mass number. As there are two neutrons, the mass and two protons, the mass add up to four. Here the electrons doesn't have any mass and there is no neutrons in it, so the ma mass number is four, zero, and the atomic number is minus one as there are no protons in it. So this one doesn't have any protons or electrons or in the nucleus. Neutrons, then the penetrating power and what will block it. The alpha has a really low amount of penetration. Even a piece of sheet of a sheet of paper can block it. Then the beta, um, it's normal. It can penetrate through normal pieces, but to stop it, you need like thin pieces of aluminium or metals. Gamma radiation is the highest penetrating radioactive material. It can almost penetrate to any plane and it can only be stopped by a thick, very, very thick layer of steel or concrete, but even a few centimeters of dense lead cannot stop it at all. Okay, the ionizing part they will see to remove electrons from atoms to, positive, for, to form a positive ion. It has a very high ionizing power. The biggest mass and charge of three radiation is the biggest punch. Moderate, moderate ionizing power with a small mass and the charge that alpha particle. The lowest ionizing power of three gamma radiation carries no electric charge as, and has virtually no mass. So not much of punch when co colliding with an atom. Yeah. This skin, it part and roots in the body hair and stuff like that. If you want, you can read through it. Well, the gigamolar tube. The gigamolar tube can be used to detect alpha, beta, and gamma particles. The window at the end is thin enough for alpha particles to pass through. When an alpha particle enters the tube, the alpha particle ionizes the ga gas inside. In this sets off a high voltage spark across the gas and pulse of current in the circuit. Mm, yeah, I'll show you the diagram. Yes, so this is the cathode, the window, and the pa electrons pass through this, and uh, yeah, the anode, electron, atom, ion, and this thing counts. Uh, there's a counter. And the resistor and the power outlet, and um, it gives out produces 500 volts. That's your design yeah. ionizing radiation. And that's pretty much all. Thank you, everyone. Thumbs up. Bye.